Okay, so this is a short sort of unplanned video on the concept of a master tank. Um, so within the vivarium terrarium hobby, um, their setups are almost always inoculated with uh, various organisms that serve to help maintain the balance of the tank, the chemical cycle of the setup. So commonly um, springtails, uh, isopods, those would be the mesofauna, like the medium-sized creatures. The macrofauna in the tank is usually like the display organism, like be they frogs or various reptile snakes, um, whatever you have in that tank, that's the macrofauna. Then the mesofauna is the um, springtails, isopods, ants, uh, various beetles, stuff you, uh, spiders, mites, stuff that you may or may not see. And then the microfauna is the um, fungi, bacteria, the really small stuff. So commonly people buy um, cultured springtails or isopods and that's kind of it. They just dump those in there and when then whatever bacterial strains uh, develop in the tank naturally or are <clears throat> on those organisms that they introduce are the organisms that uh, you know populate the tank. Um, I do it a little bit of a different way. I believe the, high, the higher the biodiversity the better. But I also do very much believe that just kind of collecting things from the wild and dumping them into a tank can be dangerous uh, as a closed environment. Um, various pathogens that may not be really any much of a problem at all in nature can become quite a big problem in a tank. I've had a tank overrun by um, Oxidus gracilis millipedes. It was pretty annoying. Um, and I, I'm, a, I'm an entomology student. I really tried hard to find something that could get rid of them. I was even looking at, you know, the beetles in their native range that are prey on them. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't ever uh, fully eradicate the millipedes. So a tank can be overrun when it is uh, inoculated with outside organisms. But uh, kind of the middle ground, a way to do that safely to both establish a really high level of biodiversity, but not risk um, your tank getting destroyed or overrun is to set up what I call a master tank. This is my master tank. It's a 10 gallon vivarium. It's been going for about three years now. Um, it was seeded all with wild organisms. So the log, the moss, the dirt. Uh, multiple times I collected uh, springtails, mites, spiders, arthropods, uh, dirt itself, uh, small, like just anything I could from outside and stocked this tank and then let it sit and hope for the best. Um, in this case, I, everything worked out. Um, it wasn't overrun by any negative organisms or pathogens or what have you. Everything fell into balance and this is now a very successful tank. Um, this is what I use to seed every single other setup that I have. Um, like these leaves, they will be the basis of, I'll put leaves in here, then after they've been covered in springtails and started to break down a little bit, I will put them in a new tank. Soil, I'll scrape off the top layer of soil and add it to a new tank and then um, add fresh soil to this tank. This is the source, I'll, I take little bits of moss from this tank and add it to the other. This is the source of the biodiversity of almost all my other setups and this is a way to do it safely. This is a stable setup that's been running for a long time. There are multiple species of springtails, multiple species of spiders, mites, um, all kinds of small arthropods. There's two species of ants. Obviously those don't really get transferred. The ants would kind of be the macrofauna of this tank, uh, uh, Odontomachus baranus colony. They're the uh, display animals of this tank. You can see that guy or that girl right there. Um, so that is that's that's how I that's how I seed all my organisms. That's how I get a much higher biodiversity, um, a much more stable I feel tank, and that's how I do it safely. That's how I um, eliminate the risk of strange bugs in my big frog tank. You know, I don't I don't want my frog tank to be overrun with millipedes, but I want there to be ten different species of springtails in there. So this is how I accomplish that, and this is how I feel. Uh, uh, most people could accomplish this with uh, relatively low risk.